All right, let's get started with S tier, the top. But first, at the bottom of S tier, we're gonna start with one that, honestly, I probably should have put down to A tier because it's just kind of unfair to compare to everything else. It's a Cartoon Network show, and this was just barely on Adult Swim. I, of course, mean Adventure Time. And, you know, what can I say about Adventure Time? It's, like, a fucking scene more. It's a classic at this point. I like how it looks, and I enjoy talking about it with my friends, but... Otherwise, yeah, it's a bit unfair to put on here, but it's here anyway. And next is Full Metal Alchemist. Yes, that's right. The 2003 version is above Brotherhood on the tier list, and a whole entire tier above. Why? Just because I have a lot more like fond memories and nostalgia with this version of the show, I remember waking up at like 1 a.m. or staying up at 1 a.m. to uh, see this. I mean, it was a whole entire fucking tier list point, and I still really enjoy talking about it with my friend who's also just kind of like fascinated by the show and loves it a lot, and the theme song gets to me. Like, it makes me feel a certain emotion, man. Uh, ready, steady, go. They don't say it like that. They're more like, it goes, he don't. Okay, they don't say it like that either. Um, but you get the point. They're like, ready, steady, go. Oh, please trust me. There we go. But yeah, I just have a strong emotional attachment to the show and it blew me away when I first heard that theme song again after like 13 years. So. Yeah, this is S tier for me. And next is FLCL, aka Fully Cooly. And wow, there's just no other fucking show like this. Um, oh man, how do I even explain the plot? Okay, well, first of all, the fucking soundtrack, it's done by the pillows and it's fucking awesome. Every song's an absolute fucking home run. And the pillows have produced a lot of just my favorite songs in general. It's amazing. I love the way this show looks. I love the characters. I love fucking Haruko. I love Kanti. I love Mamimi. And yeah, I mean, it's only fucking six episodes, so anybody can watch this. Fucking literally anybody should be able to make it through this. And the more and more you rewatch those six episodes, the more and more you notice and things start to make more sense and you start to notice more little details in the plot and shit. And it just makes every fucking feeling just a fucking like new feeling adventure. And I don't know, there's something about this show that despite basically just being made as like a glorified test animation, they just fucking got everything right. And it's like phenomenal. It's like one of those like weird rushed games like Melee or something where uh, they just fucking like somehow got it as like this absolute fucking miracle masterpiece and it's just still fucking like nothing else and just incredible to fucking experience to this day. Neon Genesis Evangelion or is it Jillian? But like it's fucking NGE, what can I fucking say? Like this is an absolute fucking old masterpiece of a series. It's so fucking iconic, it's had a huge impact on culture and shit, and this just captures a tone like no other, but super fucking subtly of just like, kind of like dread and depression, but not to a point where it's like so fucking suffocating, like, a lot of these shows still feel like empty, which makes sense if half of the population was eliminated, but like, it feels empty, but like, you can still feel things like functioning and shit in uh, society, in like the town he's in, Shindy, I mean, um... But, yeah, it just does a great job at kind of, like, capturing that, like, existential dread in just, like, a regular-ass day. Uh, fortunately, you probably don't have to feel that as much anymore, but, yeah, and, I mean, I just love, like, Asuka and Rei and Shinji. I don't know, his face is funny, at least. Uh, fun fact, voice actor for Shinji did the voice of Marth, or Mars! And uh, the Fire Emblem OVA, which was the like first piece of localization for that series in America. I said localization really weird. But yeah, everybody knows fucking NG. If you don't, you've at least seen the end of uh, Evangelion fucking race head flying off from Lilith. And, the, and now I know we can't... Okay, I'm not going to sing it all, but 
Yes, it's time to move on to the number one spot, the absolute best of the best. And when I first made this list, I took a look at it after I was done, and I was surprised too to see that this was the absolute top spot. But it is what it is. And that is Space Dandy. If you have not seen this series, you have to go fucking see it as soon as you can. This fucking series is phenomenal. I fucking love Space Dandy. It's like a more lighthearted cowboy be bubble mostly like people kind of just like compare to that solely for like the aesthetic and like space bounty hunter motif. I guess it is kind of like a light parody of that really. Yeah, I kind of like so like intentionally I'm pretty sure because of the way they end each episode. But yes, it's almost like a good Rick and Morty. No, it's not like that at all. Um but, oh god, where do I even begin? Uh, um, well, it's a shorter series. It's not FLC or short, but it's short enough to easily take in and digest and watch it through it all. It's only like 26 episodes. Um, season 2, definitely better than Season 1, if you ask me and most other people. Season 1 is not bad at all, but it's just that there's more weaker episodes, especially in the beginning of it, than there are like super strong ones. But otherwise, it's fucking great, and there's just so many fucking good classic episodes and stuff I just loved in the show. And some of the musical numbers they have throughout, too, is just fucking great and co uh, coincides with the really good episodes. So, like, I'm just thinking of, like, the high school one, um, the rock band one, Chameleone one might be the best. Uh, the racing one is fine. The fucking... No, the one that might be the best is the fucking uh, alternate universe ones. I can't remember the names of them all, but uh, just off the top of my head. But even people who didn't see the show must have seen like fucking stuff like off context from that episode. It's so fucking good. And the episode where he goes out with Scarlet and uh, the calendar episode where they're on the same day loop. The zombie episode. It's just so fucking good. Like, you just have to go fucking watch this show and... I don't want to say it's underrated, but I definitely do think that it's, like, still not, like, appreciated enough, you know? And I just recently got my best friend who watched this, like, a month ago, and he fucking really liked it, especially season two. And, yeah, you all should go watch this, too. And just thinking of that, and I guess also just making this list at the right time, just made me have to fucking put Space Dandy at the top like it was an easy s tier already but it just got put uh to the top of s tier for me for just both being such a great fucking show and also just meaning a lot between me and my friendships and yeah it's just fucking fantastic and that's like ultimately why i want to like make this like type of tier list and stuff it's just to say like okay what am i closest to what do i like the best what do i like sharing with my friends the most and yeah that's what Ultimately, just like diagnosis of off the higher tiers and what makes doing this so fun and stuff. And what's the best part looking forward to this one starting at like the bottom and stuff. And yeah, I'm glad to have gotten this out uh, actually pretty relatively quickly for everybody who wanted this. And I only made this uh, series because people said that they wanted it. So thank you so much for watching and the support. And I'll see you all for. Whatever is next, I don't know, we'll say what's going on in the comments. Uh, and for now, goodbye.